Well, good Sunday morning to you. You know, something special happens to the Royals whenever they play at the K. Boys and Blue are an amazing 23 and 8 going into last night's game in front of the hometown crowd. And they were hoping to cash in on the double dozen. Game three against the Tigers. Steady Eddie on the bump. Volquez getting the nod. Tigers were able to get to Volquez in the top of the first. Up one nothing. following a Miguel Cabrera sack fly. Justin Upton loops an RBI single to center. Royals down 2 nothing. Volquez settles down. Steven Moya, Hollywood swinging for the strikeout. The in the inning. Top of the second. Jared Saltzler-Lamakia following the breadcrumbs back to the bench, my friend. Volquez getting it done. Here come the champs. Kendra's Mar Morales, laser to left, choo-choo, here comes the cane train. Royals get on the board, cutting the lead in half, two to one Tigers. Then Paulo Orlando, lay it down, lay it down. Orlando reaches base safely. Cabrera can't hold on to the ball. Perez scores from third. Royals tie the game at two. Trademark, Royals offense keeping the line moving. Whit Merrifield is just like your favorite DJ. He keeps spinning the hits. Two RBI double, Morales scores, and Brett Eibner putting the donkey on the trailer, chugs around to make it four to two, big blue. Blue. Royals now up 5-2 in the bottom of the fourth. Merrifield, pure poetry at the plate. Another hit, another RBI. It's 6-2 Royals. But Witt's not done. Uh-uh, not at all. Sixth inning now, Merrifield with a single to center field. Orlando scores to make it 8-2. That's Merrifield's fourth RBI of the day. And I can't show highlights all day long, but the Royals sure did score a bunch of them. 16-5, the final score. Royals looking pretty good. They will be back at it this afternoon.